A lot of people wonder, what is it really like to be a billionaire? Few people truly understand the lives that billionaires lead. Sure, we see stuff on TV, we imagine the amazing things they can do, and we envision the things we would do if we were billionaires. But it still leaves us wondering, what is it truly like to be a billionaire? Let's get one thing out of the way. There are levels of rich. I see four major breaking points. The first level we're gonna start at is when you're worth 10 million to 30 million dollars liquid. At this level, your needs are met. You can live very comfortably at a four star or five star level. You can book $2,000 suites for a special occasion. You can fly first class internationally, sometimes. You have a very nice house. You can afford any healthcare you need. No emergency financial situation can destroy your life. But you're not exactly rich in the sense that money doesn't matter. You still have to be prudent and careful with most decisions unless you're on the upper end of the scale where you truly are becoming resistant from personal financial stress. The business stress will unfortunately be there for all levels. At this level, the banking world still doesn't clarify you as ultra high net worth. Net worth of 30 million to 100 million. At this point, you start playing with the big boys. Oh, and is it nice. You can start to fly private, you stay at five-star hotels, you have multiple residences, and you can vacation at prime vacation times. What I mean by this is you can rent in, ski in, ski out villa in Aspen for Christmas week, or go to Monaco for the Grand Prix, or even go to Fiji whenever you get bored. For what it's worth, rent on these places can run to five to 20K per night. If you're this rich, you either run or have a big chunk in a massive company. You socialize with congressmen, senators, and community leaders, and you're an extremely well-respected member in any community outside the world's great cities. In say, a city like Beverly Hills, you're a minor player at 80 million. You can buy any car you want, you have personal assistance, and are starting to have people that others have to talk to to get to you. You can travel anywhere in any style. You can buy pretty much anything that normal people think of as rich people stuff. 100 million to 1 billion. I I know it's a wide range, but life doesn't change much when you go from being worth 200 to 900 million. At this point, you have a private jet, multiple residences with staff, elite cars at each residence, ownership or significant control over a business that most of the public has heard of. If it's your thing, you can socialize with movie stars, politicians, rock stars, corporate elite, mostly whoever you want. You might not get an invite to every party, but you can go pretty much anywhere you want. You definitely have people and staff and the world is full of yes men. Your ability to buy things becomes almost an art. One of your vacation homes may be a five bedroom villa on the beach in Cabo but that's not really that impressive. You own a private island? Starting to be cool, but kind of depends on the island. You just had dinner with Senator X and Governor Y at your home? Cool, but your billionaire friend just had dinner with the president. You have a new Ferrari? Your friend thinks their handling sucks and has a classic only five exists in the world type of car. Did I mention partners? Because at this level, they are all over the place. Every event, most parties, the polo club, ultra hot, world class, smart women and men. Power and money are an aphrodisiac and you have it in spades. Anything you want from woman or a man at this point, you'll find a willing and beautiful partner. Might not emotionally connect, but damn, they're hot. One thing that gets rare at this level, friends and family that love you for who you are. They exist, but it's pretty damn hard to know which ones they are. One billion dollars. I'm gonna exclude the 10 billion plus crowd, but at one billion, life changes. You can buy anything, anything. This is what you can buy, access. You can now just ask your staff to contact anyone and you will get a call back. It's mind blowing the level of access and respect $1 billion plus gets you. In this case, you want to talk to another billionaire that owns a huge golfing company? You can most likely get them on the phone within 60 minutes. If you have this much money, money talks. You meet on an occasional basis with head of state and have real conversations with them, which leads to influence. Oh yes you can buy influence. As a billionaire, you have many ways to shape public policy and the public debate, and you use them. This is not in any way evil, at least for most. Most are just passionate about ideas and trying to do what they feel is best for the world, just like you would. But they just had an hour with the governor privately, or with the secretary of health, or by buying ads or lobbyists. The amount of influence you have can be massive. Time. Yes. 
you can buy time. You literally never have to wait for anything. Travel, you fly private, show up at the airport, sit down in the plane, and the door closes and you take off in two minutes. The plane waits for you. If you decide you want to leave at any time, you drive or take a helicopter to the airport and you leave. The pilots and flight attendants are your employees. They do what you tell them to do. Hungry? Your driver drops you off at the front door and waits a few blocks away for however long you need. The best table is waiting for you. You literally don't even have to make a reservation. You have people to do that for you. The celebrity chef has prepared a meal for you because you gave him so much catering business he wants to make you very happy and he ensures service is impeccable. Golf? Your club is so exclusive there's always tea time and no wait. Going to the Super Bowl or Grammys? You're whisked behind velvet ropes and escorted past any and all lines to the best seats in the house. Experiences. Dream of it and you can have it. Want to play basketball with LeBron James? Maybe not specifically him, but someone of his caliber? Call his people. Just make a simple donation of 100k to his favorite charity and you could probably play a match with him. Like Drake? There's a price where you'd simply come and do a performance at your private party. Love NASCAR? How about racing the top driver on a closed track? Love science? Have a dinner with Bill Nye or Neil deGrasse Tyson. Love politics? Have Obama come speak at a private party for you and your friends. Just pay a speaker fee. Your mind is only the limit to what is available because donations and fees get you to anyone. The same is true with possessions. You like pianos? How about owning one Mozart used to compose music on? This is the type of thing you can do. Your creativity is simply the limit. Impact. Your money can literally change the world and change lives. Clean water for a whole village forever? Chump change. A dying child needing a transplant? Hell, you could just build and fund a hospital and do it for a region. Respect. The respect you get at this level is just over the top. You are that person in almost every circle. Governors look up to you, Fortune 500 CEOs look up to you, presidents, kings look to you as peers. So I'm sure after saying this, your mind is just racing on what you can buy if you all of a sudden became a billionaire. But what a lot of people are missing out on is perspective. Perspective is truly the mind blowing part of this video. Let's look at someone who makes $400 million a year. Now let's say you make 40,000 a year. We'll compare the $400 million salary to you. It's 10,000 times more. Now let's look at the prices the way the millionaire might. A new Lambo which cost $235,000 just became $23.50. First class tickets internationally, $10,000 became $1. A full-time executive assistant, $8,000 a month, became 80 cents a month. A $10 million piece of art you love just became $1,000. Expensive, so you have to plan a bit. A suite at the best hotel in New York City, $10,000 a night, became $1 a night. A $50 million home in the Hamptons, $5,000. There's literally nothing you can't buy, except love. Sorry to be so depressing, but it's nearly impossible to have a normal, emotional relationship at this level. It's hard to sacrifice for another person when you are never asked to sacrifice anything. Money can solve all problems for someone, so you offer it because there's so much else to do. Your time is so valuable that you ration it, and that makes you lose connections with people. That's why you see some of the world's richest billionaires having so many divorces. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, they've all had divorces, and this is probably the reason why. So after making this video, I realized nobody really has it all. Nobody. Money can buy a lot of things, but not everything. It can make you extremely happy in the short term, but that doesn't mean you won't have problems in your everyday life. Let me know what you guys think. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe because we have some pretty amazing videos coming up. Check out one of my previous videos and I'll see you guys next time.